Good evening and salutations, my Days of Alliance fans. Let's start off with Johnny and Wendy. At first, when I watched this scene, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of annoyed about it. You know, Wendy's back and forth. Oh, well, you know, we were supposed to sit there and wait this, that, and the third. And, you know, now this is coming on kind of sudden because Johnny decided to come over there and then, um, Take her to go see a movie. And she's all this back and forth. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Right? And then eventually she does say yes. But then Joey calls her. And she's like, I got to do something now. So at first, I was kind of annoyed with the scene. But then I realized something. Wendy shouldn't be going out with Johnny. Okay? Johnny still has feelings. For Chanel. You know, it doesn't matter if they if they didn't kiss or not. The fact that they almost kissed means that he still has something for her. And if that's the case, well, why would you want to sit there and spend time with somebody, get close to somebody, knowing that this person still has films with someone else? You know? As much as I don't like Ali and um I'm gonna sit there and say C blocking in the beginning. I kind of realized that Ali had a point. You know, Johnny's interest goes only as far as whatever way the wind will blow. And since he still has strong feelings towards Chanel, yeah, he could sit there and be into her for a little bit. He could be spending time with her. But eventually, they'll go run right back to Chanel. So why even bother? Why even sit there and put yourself through that? Now, speaking of Joey, I'm not fully understanding this. In the beginning, it seemed like Joey and Tripp were both into Wendy. You know, they were one-upping each other and everything like that and beyond Salem. Now it's like, oh man, I think you should really go out with Wendy. I think it's, you know, like she's really good for you and stuff like that and she's nice. And I'm just like, um, weren't you interested in her too? When, when did that just stop? I don't know. I just, I felt that kind of odd. I mean, I know, you know, Kayla's death and everything like that, but I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I, I still feel like that's just something kind of off. Like, what happened with that? I mean, Joey goes so far as to call Wendy to come over and kind of somewhat parent trap him, I guess. Trip. While they're sitting there talking about Wendy and, you know, Tripp was like, well, you know, Johnny, you know, Johnny and Tripp, you know, seem, I mean, Johnny and Wendy seem like, you know, things are kind of heating up and stuff like that. He even actually defends Johnny as far as, you know, emotions are running high and, you know, with the whole Chanel thing. So I was kind of surprised by that. But again, what I said before, as far as Johnny and Tripp handling things, you know, like, um, like men, I'll say. But, eventually Wendy does come over there, and, you know, they hang out, and, you know, eventually Joey does sit down and tell Tripp, yeah, because there was one point where, um, you know, Tripp was ready to leave, to sit down and spend time with his dad, and Joey's like, hey, all right, all right, cool, why don't you order some more drinks or whatever, and I'll just, I'll use the restroom. My dude must have been there for like 20 or 30 minutes um, before Wendy came by. Paulina and Abe seemed like they're about to have a romantic dinner. And I'm not going to lie, the minute that she walked in and he had the whole, you know, thing set up or whatever for, for dinner and stuff like that and being a romantic, I was like, yep, and this is going to be interrupted in five, four, three, two. And of course, Chanel walked right on in there like, yeah, you know, I'm famished. And then she realized what's going on. Once again, Pauline tries to talk sense into her. But you know what? Here's the thing. And I stand by my original statement. This whole cause, this whole breakup that's eventually about to happen, this is all started with Chanel. This is all started with Chanel. 
Oh, I was just in a ditch trying to comfort him. Okay, Shana. Sure. Like, that is such BS. That is such BS. I don't even know where to begin. Here's the thing, though. You can only go tip for tap back and forth before you kind of realize does it even matter anymore? You know, like, does it even start to matter anymore? Yeah, so now was the catalyst that broke the camel's back. But now you got Johnny, now you got Alex and um, Ali hanging out at the bar, drinking like there was no tomorrow, swapping, you know, love stories and stuff like that about how their, you know, their relationships are on the rocks so are pretty much just kind of done. And even there was one point where Chanel caught up with Johnny and Johnny was like, hey, you want to go to the movies? And Chanel was like, yeah, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea for X, Y, and Z. Of course, Johnny convinced her to change her mind and she decided to go. But before they went to the movies, they wound up going um, to, of course, the same bar. The same. You ever just watch a show and you just... I mean, granted, you can enjoy the show, but it's like you know where it's going to go. Like the minute that Ali and Alex started getting drunk, it was like the minute that I saw what, what the minute that I saw Chanel and Johnny together, I was like, they're going to go to that bar. They're eventually going to go to that bar, and they're going to find those two in a compromising position. And of course, that's exactly what ended up happening. Um. Alcohol and a lemon and salt and whatever they do with that, um, making it look like they kissed and everything. And so now they're upset. Now, you know, even when Chanel was talking to Pauline, she was like, Oh, well, you know, they must have been sleeping together because, you know, Alex's underwear was off. And, you know, even Abe was like, You know, given who this Alex person is, that seemed like it's kind of off brand as far as him just sleeping in the nude. Now, me personally, um, yeah, no, I just, I'm not having, I'm not, you know, even if I toss back and forth, I'm not having, no, 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 just, no, um, because, you know, even Pauline was like, you know, maybe he's one of those people that sleeps in the nose, but, you know, of course, like I said, um, Chanel is not there saying, oh, well, you know, they probably stuck together. I mean, you know, his underwear is off and this, that, and the third. And, you know, Ali's like, oh, you know, y'all almost kissed and stuff like that before I walked in. It's like tip for tap. And now it's just getting to this point where it's like, it doesn't matter anymore. It, it, it really doesn't matter. This is one of those things. I think I remember watching something on, um, at the time it was called Snick. Or it was, I think it was called Teen Nick. They had everyone together, everyone that was in a relationship. And then, you know, you had the guy over the loudspeaker that was like, all right, well, it's time to sit there and switch, like switch partners or whatever. I felt like this is one of those cases, you know, because if you saw any one of the crazy thumbnails or whatever, you probably seen that Ali and Alex want to be together. And I guess Johnny... And Chanel probably wanna go back out with each other. And of course you got Trip. You got Wendy. And eventually, I guess you could sit there and look at it in the long run and be like, Yeah, yeah, this this just makes sense. Let's just let's just reboot it, put those people with those people and call it a wrap. Because again, Wendy does not need to be with Johnny in his flip flopping feelings. As much as I like Johnny as a character, you know, the fact that he still does have feelings for Chanel, oh, we're just going to have to sit there and try a little bit harder. It shouldn't have to be that way. You shouldn't have to sit there and try hard to not want to be with her. Oh, we're, we're, I'm going to make this whole thing with Wendy work. Like, seriously, that's so unfair to her. Knowing that you still have feelings for one person, you're going to what? Was she just going to be your, your, your what? Your constellation prize? Speaking of Constellation Prizes, now I'm getting to a point now with Stephanie. 
And every time I just see her draw breath, it just, just annoys me. The scenes with her and Chad and the kids. <sighs> now, we'll sit there and say they were nice and wholesome and, you know, after they read them a bedtime story and after they talked about Alex and everything, um, you know, they explained to the kids that they're dating and making sure that the kids was okay and they were comfortable and, you know, they like Stephanie and stuff and reminding them that, you know, even though that I'm dating Stephanie, she's not going to replace your mom. And it's a very full house moment. Okay. It's a very full house moment. Too bad I did not care about a single <laughs> I did not care about a single thing in no scenes. They were nice, they were sweet, and I can honestly care less. Really could have. Almost forgot about it. I was about to sit there and say, all right, well I guess that's actually gonna do it for this review, and I was like, oh yeah, I guess. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, Chad has definitely grown on me as a character. I mean, when he first came, I was like, ugh. When I first started watching him, but then he grown on me, okay? So, unfortunately, it's just the scenes I gotta sit there and watch, I gotta slough through when he's with Stephanie. And the minute I saw those two on my thumbnail when I was about to start the, um, the episode, I was like... But what are you going to do? You got to sit there and take some bad with the good. <sighs> it is what it is. Hey. Well, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. I think I've remembered everything. If I forgot something, we'll talk about it during the live stream tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Also, we'll sit there and try this a little bit more this week. Since... I think last week and this week, I got two new members. So, if you want to join, it's four ninety nine. Gives you exclusive videos, live streams, member shout outs, and slot of fun. Um, I try not to shill it too much, but I'm I'm trying to find a balance because I know ultimately, one, you're either going to join or not. Two, trust me, I watch other people, I got creators that I watch, and when they start shilling, it's a balanced nag. They do it too much, it gets really annoying, and it's a huge turn off. You do it too little, then it's like, hmm, oh yeah, I forgot you got that, that thing going on, right? So it's like, where do you find a balance? Because either way... I'm always going to sit there and find some way to make somebody unhappy. I can't believe you're doing... It just... It is what it is. That's why I try to sit there and be a little more lighter on some of the people that do chill. Um, but that stuff. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. I will see you in the next video. I will see you in the next live stream, which is tonight. Um, to come through. It's a lot of fun. And clearly... From my post before, never know who's gonna stop by. It'd be nice if somebody stops by. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love, I love the um Nathaniel Gray for stopping by in the last live stream. Um, get some days people, you know, let's get some days people. BMV, YNR, imagine if the great Victor Newman came through. Uh, every day is a new surprise, and it's definitely a welcoming one on this platform. And I have everyone to thank for that. All right, I'm done. Um, thank you for watching. Be safe, and I will see you in the next video.